to fifth stock in the portfolio. Surprise, surprise, a PSU and that to an OMC. You know, I love the smile. There has to be a logic uh, that Mr. Arora and you chose uh, uh, something that was, you know, uh, a pariya in the markets. Ki PSU mein paise nahi dalne. Aakhir mein, you know, 40th fund, 40th stock in a portfolio of uh, 41 stocks could be a PSU. But what has changed? What made you choose uh, uh, a PSU and that to an OMC? So, uh, okay, first let me uh, just clarify on the fact that you said that Reliance is at a all-time high and we still don't have it. But let me tell you, Sharada, the, the point is that there are probably, you know, if you if you look at an index, two-third, one-third of the stocks do phenomenally well in the index. So, you have a huge amount of uh, things to play with. In fact, uh, uh, for the for that matter, we had stocks which are like... Uh, which have gone up multi-fold as compared to what uh, a heavyweight would have given a return. So that way we're not missing out on anything. Okay? So there's no FOMO. That's what I want to tell you. In terms of HBCL, uh, that just goes to show how flexible we are uh, when we need to get that kind of alpha for an investor. In fact, we can, uh, we, 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 oh, for a very long time, we've been telling you that uh, we need to stay away from PSU. There's not... Uh, the government interventions are too much and all. But of late, we've seen, in at least in the oil and gas sector, in fact, we also have a BPCL, which is somewhere way down the line per se. As you said, that probably the 40th stock in a 41 uh, stock portfolio, that's where it is today. The weight is very low, but we still have it. The fact is that uh, crude, uh, despite all efforts from the OPEX plus countries, has not moved, right? And the government has been also very reluctant, despite the fact that there are these five state elections on the way, there's a central election coming around. They didn't go at the, uh, the trying to cut the prices of uh, uh, the retail fuel at the expense of uh, uh, the profits. In fact, uh, now the the retailers are, the likes of HPCL and BPCL are making hand over fist money uh, on the retail sales as such, which is a healthy indicator that the government is trying to be hands off and really trying to keep it a very free market kind of a uh, play per se. Plus, what excited us more in HBCL itself was the fact that uh, they were looking at demerging. I mean, they are looking at, sorry, not, they are looking at demerging the crude, uh, sorry, not the, 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 the lubricants a part of the business. Now, that alone. Uh, and, and when we took a call on HPCL, that alone we felt was enough to justify the market cap of HPCL. At that point in time, after that, the stock has moved quite a bit as such. But that is what really excited us. And we said we, we need to be uh, in this counter. BP came, BPCL came much later as such. But then these are not the only two PSUs. We have a PSU in defense. Uh, we have a PSU in utilities. So we've been playing this whole uh, spread depending on where we see uh, growth coming in from uh, looking at the future of our economy. Okay. And uh, the thing about undervaluation of uh, uh, HPCL, I'd like to point out, uh, even after the stock has, you know, gone up by about 25% uh, over the last uh, uh, one month or so, uh, the market cap to sales ratio is, uh, you know, uh, something like 0 0.13. You know, it, this, and this is a roaring bull market that we are sitting on. So even now, such fantastic gems are available in terms of uh, uh, potential multi-baggers uh, in, uh, uh, in, uh, in Helios Flexicap's uh, portfolio. Uh, 